we're asked to identify the slope and intercepts of the equation f of x equals three, then draw an accurate graph of the equation. So the first thing to recognize here is that the given function is a constant function. Notice how f of x, the function value or function output, is always positive three. Because f of x equals y, if we wanted to, we can write the equation as y equals three. Now if we compare this equation to slope-intercept form, which is the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the vertical intercept, we could write an equivalent equation in the form y equals zero x plus three. Notice how this is still y equals three, but in this form, we can easily recognize that m equals zero, so the slope is equal to zero, and b, the vertical intercept, is equal to positive three. Remember, we want the intercepts as ordered pairs. So the vertical intercept is positive three, which should be this point here. The ordered pair is zero comma three. So now we know the slope is zero, and the vertical intercept is the ordered pair zero comma three. We still need to find the horizontal intercept, as well as graph the line. If we don't recognize that a constant function will always be a horizontal line, or that a line with a slope of zero is horizontal, we can always make a table of values. So let's go ahead and do that. But notice how for the table of values, because f of x or y is always three, the y column must always be three, and the equation y equals three does not contain x, which means x can be any value that we wish. Let's go ahead and just select one, two, three. So the point one comma three would be this point here. The point two comma three is this point, and the point three comma three is this point. So notice how if we graph this line, it's a horizontal line. It does not cross the horizontal axis and therefore there is no horizontal intercept. And it says to enter DNE if an answer does not exist. So we enter DNE for horizontal intercept. This was kind of a long way to graph this horizontal line. So if we do recognize that when we have an equation y equals a constant, or f of x equals a constant, we have a horizontal line and the slope is always zero, we can save quite a bit of time. But if we're not sure, we can always go back to what we know about slope-intercept form, as well as graphing a line, making a table of values. I hope you found this helpful.